Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to dive deep into filling the Chevening application. I have also included the links uh, in the video description. What I'm going to do is I will directly dive to apply. So first of all, we click on the apply button. We select, we can select our country from the list here and uh, or we can also select here what are we looking for. For example, a scholarship or fellowship. Of course, we are and the goal of this video is for the scholarship. So we just select scholarship and then the name of our country, for example, Afghanistan, Albania, Algeria, and it goes all the way to the country that ends with Zimbabwe. The application is not going to be different. So don't worry, I just select the first one. So here we are. Afghanistan and as you can see the chiveling application everything is there. There are not very important things So we click on the apply button So when you click on apply you will be landed on this page where you have to create your account If you have already created your account you can just in the login uh, field put your email and uh, your password and then click on login but since we are creating a new account so I'm going to register here click on register here you can see it now so I just click on accept at the bottom of the screen you scroll down if you could not just see it like me and here are a bunch of questions that we need to just go on and fill I'm just going quickly mister and here I write my own name my name is Sirat and my last name is Haidari he him she her they them whatever your pronouns are you can just fill it there and here register with personal email only so I'm writing my, my personal email here and uh, you have to confirm and write again your email and then if you have additional email, it's always good and it say that we strongly encourage you to provide an alternative email address in case if you miss anything. And this is something that I actually do. And I ha also um, encourage you to do it because having an alternative email is always good. So your telephone number, if you have it, it's al always good to put it, but uh, it's not mandatory home telephone and personal telephone home address this is very important so I write it down and then I click I have checked all the details carefully and I understand that once I submit these details cannot be changed so I click submit Okay, registration, a link to activate your account will be emailed to you. So once we have done this, then we go to our email. I just see nothing on my email. I refresh this. Do not reply. So if you reply to this email, not nobody is going to answer anything for you. Please go to this out to the address below to activate your account and set your password. You saw we didn't set any password. I click on the link. Okay, so here new password. I just write my new password. and then I just submit okay and now the application opens so I'm not reading all these parts but I'm just skimming them for you to just give you you know the important key but I highly encourage you to go on and read them carefully I do not have a surname or a family name if you don't have but I do have so title is again see uh, mister uh, first name last name uh, he he and that's my email address and my alternative email address here I can uh, choose my um, province where I come from so I choose my province and then and here I have to put my so this is it I have my date of birth here and here, um, country, territory of citizenship. I am from Afghanistan. You just select your country from there. Do you hold dual citizenship? If you hold dual citizenship, you click it yes or no. But be careful. If you choose dual citizenship, 
and the other citizenship might be from some other countries or the UK, then you will probably will not be eligible for this country or territory of birth is of course again Afghanistan and place of birth. The good thing is that once you click um, select your country, your provinces of that specific country comes here in this. So everything is good. I click on save. So I validate my profile. And then we can go on to the next parts. There we go. Click here to view your homepage. I hope you have liked the, my video so far and this has helped you at least a little bit. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Okay, and now I can log in with my new credentials. Okay, and here the application opens. Uh, in progress, when we create a new application that will show in progress, and when we submit it, it will be here, and then unsuccessful application, conditionally selected on uh, reserve over this, then this one will move all the way to there. So I click on available open awards, and here I can see um, the scholarships that are available for my country. So I am concerned that we are working for Chevening, so I click on Chevening and apply. Okay, here we go. So now here is the eligibility questionnaire. If we miss anything right here, our application will be automatically rejected. So are you a citizen of a Chevening eligible country? Yes, of course, you are one of that. Will you return to your home country or territory after you know your studies? Yes, that's what we do. Do you have an undergraduate degree that will enable you to gain entry into postgraduate study program at a UK university? This is typically equivalent to an upper uh, second class to one's honors degree in the UK, yes. Do you have the minimum work experience as stated below, which is two years, for example, <coughs> two years is equivalent to 2,800 hours. Are you at least 18 years old? Yes. Will you have completed your undergraduate degree before the date of submitting the application? Maybe you get your document later, it's okay. You can still, you know, select this part here and maybe you will get your document later but you need your document before July because you have to send the document to universities your certificate so that you get offers from this in those universities are you applying for a scholarship um, for a course of a study commencing in the in the UK autumn term 2024 so I selected everything yes on here and I click submit so this one is pre-screen questionnaire. It may also reject you automatically. So do you aspire to be or uh, are you already a leader, decision maker or opinion uh, former in your home country or territory? Yes, maybe now or maybe later. Are you a bit British citizen? No, you are not. Have you previously studied in the UK with funding from a UK government funded scholarship? No. If you say yes, don't think that you will be rejected, okay? Uh, because you may already, the system may already show that you had, for example, a fellowship in the UK or any other thing. But it's good, of course, if it's your first time to just choose no. Have you been employed in a permanent, temporary or internship role since July 2021 by the UK government, the British Council or any other association? No. Have uh, any of your immediate family members been employed with these organizations? No. So the only thing that I uh, chose yes was, do you aspire to become a leader? Yes. No. And then submit pre-screen. So I'm just submitting the pre-screen. Do you have any question that I didn't respond so far? Don't worry, write it in the comment section and I'm always trying to be responsive and I will respond to that as soon as possible. So once I submit that, I'm not rejected. So as uh, on the top you see one of five, 
Well, the first one is background, essay question, obligation information, terms and conditions, and upload documents and submit. So these are the five uh, th tabs that we have. So personal information, my name, my last name is already there. He, she, my date of birth here is where do you, I want to get my interview? So here I just only see online Chevening Afghan Sun interviews. For some other countries, you might also have uh, online but I think for every country you have both online and in-person interviews and you can go to the embassy to British Council to a place somewhere and you will have maybe a list of one city two city or maybe I don't know 10 cities 100 cities there so again there are my email addresses and other things and here is my education add education details so here you see there is nothing and then work experience so I start with my education I just fill my education here you can talk about your university and degree and everything so here if you see undergraduate postgraduate undergraduate is bachelor's degree four years and postgraduate if you have already got another master's degree and then which country I am I'm from Afghanistan so I just clicked confirm with the territory because once the system finds its name of the universities because if you choose your country it ought, should automatically give the name of your universities as you can see name and college it automatically shows the name of universities in my country you don't or if you are not from my country you will not know these names so my university name American University of Afghanistan I choose the date <laughs> So here you choose your degree. It's a big long list. So I have uh, LLM, LLB, and then my master's is LLM. Uh, your degree, it was of course law and course title for every field. And then if you have percentage one to 10, one to 20 or zero to 10, anything that is so for us we are GPA or if you have CGPA then it's CGPA and then the result so I had 3.85 and submit if you submit you just submit this one and then the window closes but if you submit and add new it will be added and then you will have the chance to add another university save draft let's just save this and we should see the name of the university that we had it on this list okay here we go so here i have undergraduate american university of Afghanistan. the dates llb law general law, law gpa if you have any ambiguities or problems feel free to write it in the comment section and i will respond to them immediately so here I come to the last part where is a uh, work experience so are you currently employed in a full or part-time work or a voluntary internship if yes then you just click it yes if no you just say it no and then I click yes if you say no you have indicated that you're not currently in employment please provide details of your present situation so you, then you have to write something add work experience here you just click on hand work experience okay name of your organization that you are working for for example i am roshna social organization founder and executive director so once you click on that one so uh, working hours per week normally we work for 40 hours full-time internship part-time voluntarily whatever it is for example it's my full-time please provide a brief summary of responsibilities here Whatever you have, you just go on and write them. Sector, is it public sector or private sector? This is public sector. If it's, for example, you are working for a, con a company, a small company or big and it's private, you just select uh, private. We I can submit it, but I want to submit and add new. So that will be submitted. I hope you have liked the, my video so far and this has helped you at least a little bit. If so, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. 
here I have in the name of another place a CDR I don't uh, uh, write in just a CDR it's always not good to do it okay I write it up once done center for dispute resolution maybe in parentheses it's better to write a CDR otherwise not okay arbitrator for example I am an arbitrator here and then here I can write uh, the and it's only 10 hours per week employment it is a voluntary work it's always good to have voluntary and here you just uh, um, um, just write the you know the things that you uh, do as a volunteer uh, it's always good to write more I just have that one so I can say private sector or public sector so I, I have just a private sector I don't have it to now I just submit okay and both of these are successful okay so I'm working in these two places as you can see and if I come here it automatically calculates that 160 weeks and uh, like uh, 76 weeks and 6400 hours I have worked now I'm done with the first part uh, which is background now we go to the essay writing so the second is the essay writing by the way guys I highly encourage you to subscribe to my weekly newsletter in which I share tips and tricks how to write a winning essay, how to prepare for the evening, how to prepare for the interview and every other thing. And I only send you one email that I write myself and you know do my best every week and I did this for the last two, three years. The link is in the descriptions below. Subscribe to my weekly newsletter, The Scholarship Mentor. If you didn't like it, you can unsubscribe at any time. Here you have leadership and influence and uh, the relationship building and shared living, studying in the UK and career plan. So here you just read the questions and then you write here in this place and that should be 500 words, a maximum of 500 words. What I would like to tell you so far, if you really liked everything, I would like to kindly ask you to please like this um, video subscribe to my channel as you can see and I will show you later that 78% of people who watch my videos are not subscribed to this channel so I kindly request you to please subscribe and the link for writing essays because writing 500 words per essay takes a lot of time so I have four links only for these four I have more links but four of them says it is essays essay one two and then I have leadership they're all free videos that you can watch on my youtube channel for free learn everything and write it here by the way if you write your essay and you still think you need help you need me to revise it or you totally cannot write your essays and you need my support and help feel free to go to my website sirathaydri.com the link is in the descriptions below and scroll down here i have these uh, three services essay writing support Unfortunately, I had to stop the free plan because I got hundreds and hundreds of essays to review for free for those who, you know, submitted their essays earlier. But uh, I have two other services, this standard plan that you can see the details. I review all your essays. I provide my comments. I fix them. I do not write anything for you. I'm just writing comments and I'm trying to give you feedback. And I'm also recording a voice for you. If you share me your phone number, then I can send you my voice message to through WhatsApp or Viber and I talk what were the good things what were the bad things in some cases we might book and one-on-one -on -one, um, call and talk with each other and if you book my premium plan uh, it's a bit expensive but the good thing is that I'm going to take your hand all the way from zero to hundred percent and we are going to write your essays together at the end you see that I am not responsible for the whole writing process but I'm helping you to write a winning achieving essay and you know be awarded this year and enjoy your life in the UK and studies and join our community of achieving alumni people and group 
I highly recommend you to not write here. Write it in a Word document and just copy paste it because here there is no spelling check, there is no grammar check and these things. But if you write it in Word document, you can always do it. And there is no guarantee that you write something here and you come more uh, another day and you open it. There is nothing there. That might happen. That has happened. That the system that the system does not save. Uh, every word that you have so have it in a word document and then copy it on the last day when you are about to submit furthermore if you need help to um, you know for writing these essays I highly encourage you to go to my website sirathaydari.com as you can see on uh, my email uh, 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 my website address above if you go here here you can uh, essay writing consultation if you can book a one hour consultation or more with me so that we can talk and brainstorm about how to write your essay if you scroll down here you see for now the scholarship preparation bootcamp uh, this will be changed or next to it we will see very soon uh, another course which is achieving essay writing course it's a complete course that I'm going in depth writing five different um, essays for five different majors for lawyers for science for technology for health for engineering and, and, and uh, these beautiful things so you can enroll to those courses and here you can see other links if I scroll down this is also another link that you can book uh, consultation sessions with me you can just click on the date that you want click on the time that you want and then you can easily book um, a consultation session with me that's that's as easy as that here on my website there is the link for the Facebook group that I am the manager of it here you can write the details for booking so this just popped up a little bit late um, this is the Facebook group click on it and join it and other people here are other essay check you can submit your essays for me and I can check them I had a free plan I just stopped it because I got hundreds of and hundreds of email, uh, essays to check for free without any pay I cannot do it anymore because I'm busy with that and I this is the standard plan that I get very little money to check your essay and provide comments and all those things so I'm currently busy with these and the free ones that the people have already submitted and at the bottom there are my blogs which I write more details so again in here if you go to my courses I just want to show you my uh, essay writing course because in my essay writing course I am going in depth into writing these beautiful essays which I really want you to check them once you click on the link uh, courses you will be landed here on this page and as you can see there uh, are these courses and more courses will be uploaded soon achieving um, interview preparation which um, it's not the time and then achieving preparation bootcamp achieving essay writing course now it's coming soon because I'm updating and uploading new videos I just turned it off and I will turn it on or my software uh, website designer will turn it back on uh, very soon in a few hours so by the time you're watching this video it should already be updated so you can enroll to these courses and learn more things from me or submit your essays <coughs> so let's get back to the achieving uh, application that we uh, have had so here are the essays that you have so the best thing is to just copy these in a word document and then write about them so I skipped this one because the free links are in the descriptions below or the paid ones you can contact me application information so here university application details here is the postgrad.com the place where you can just click on it uh, copy the address and search your universities or you can go to Google and directly uh, apply to university I would like to add a university application so when you want to add a university application if you have not applied to the universities after creating and filling these parts that we cover in this video I highly encourage you to do two things work on your essays and apply to the universities at the same time because by in two in one month or two months by the deadline you should have applied to these universities and if you have got rejections then just forget them apply to more universities and I highly encourage you to apply to 10 universities there's also another link how to apply to universities in the descriptions below which you can do for free so here are the list of the universities that you you can choose my university University of Aberdeen for example I have already applied to this university 
I choose this. So there are different options. I will choose every um, option so that you know what I mean by them. What's your field of study? So my field of study is LLM. Now international commercial law with professional skills or anything. Rank. This is this ranking is which one is your first choice, second choice, and third choice. For example, my first choice is University of Aberdeen. Have you already applied to this university? And you click here, and then you choose one. Okay, so I click on this one. Yes, I have a conditional offer. Yes, I have an unconditional offer. No, I have applied and I'm waiting a decision yes but I'm rejected so the reason why yes I'm rejected is because if you have already made the mistake by choosing the university and then after six months you apply to that university and they rejected you then this option is for you which means you are very lazy I'm sorry to say that that's why I'm always telling people to please apply as early as possible when you submit your achievement application do not go to sleep apply to the university so I have already uh, a conditional offer that's what I choose and it says congratulations if you are offered achieving award you will be required to meet the remaining conditions by your day by 11th of July 2024 and if I say I have an unconditional offer then that also says kind of the same thing so I submit this at university application now I had the second one here I choose the university for example Birmingham City University and again uh, what is my field i am choosing kind of the same field mostly it will not 100 percent be the same field be mindful of that one sometimes it's different but sometimes it's uh, you can find similar courses but here for example i cannot find international commercial law instead i have applied to international for example business law and what's the ranking for this university this is my second university as or second choice uh, I have conditional I have no I have not applied or yes I have applied and I'm waiting a decision okay 11th of July is the deadline so it's good to know that by that time you should have a response from that university it does not mean that you should apply uh, after that or by that time no you should get a response from the this, uh, from the university so I saved the draft and now I can see these two universities here I can add uh, two more universities uh, one more university there in fact so one I yes I have unconditional offer yes I have applied waiting decision and the third so I can add the third one as well uh, at university but I cannot have the fourth one be mindful that you can always delay it for example I have applied uh, choose Birmingham City University they rejected me I don't have to choose yes they rejected me I just delayed this one and then add my other university you cannot delete it after the deadline okay once you submit your achieving obligation you cannot delete it when the deadline for achieving comes you can do do not have access to this you have only access to those i have got unconditional offer i am rejected you cannot delete and add a new university I just repeated it a few times but now you can do it so since you have access to the delete button apply to as many universities as possible and see which ones reject you and which ones gives you offer then delay them at those ones if you have rejections from all these universities do you think Chivening will accept you of course not do you know that I do also have a couple of Facebook groups that I'm admin together with my team and oh, if you go to my website there is this link you scroll down and currently over 28,000 is 27 is all twenty over twenty eight thousand uh, members are in this group and everybody asks questions. I'm answering the questions. My team is answering the question, as well as other aspirants or alumni are answering your questions. If you have anything, click on this and join the Facebook group. So here, uh, once again, I am choosing my major uh, for the achieving system, uh, so that the achieving would know what my major is. For example, mine is commercial law. I just uh, choose it here it has nothing to do with the university immigration do you have a valid passport uh, for your country and territory yes of course I do and here you have to write your passport number so uh, do you hold a refugee status uh, no do you have any other form of legal residency if you yes then you put that 
legal residency from which country it's easier to say no if you don't have have you ever been in the uk no uh do you have a valid uk visa or permission to remain enter or re remain in the uk no have you ever been refused a visa for any country including the uk if you have applied to any uh, uh, country no uh, have you been deported removed or otherwise required to leave any country including the uk in the last 10 years if you did a crime or something and then they deported you do you have any criminal convictions that you did in the uk or any other country or your own country no have you ever been arrested or charged with any offense in any country and are awaiting or currently on trial if you don't have your passport just click no don't worry about it okay so this is it i am submitting this uh, i'm also saving this one once again i am requesting you to kindly like this video uh, and in the descriptions write from which country are you applying so that i know of which beautiful countries people are watching my videos so we go to the terms and conditions this video is getting long and one more thing guys if you want to get these free tips and my experience since 2020 go to my youtube channel chevening scholarship help there i have actually hundreds of videos of course more videos coming and i also have a dad scholarship germany channel i highly recommend you to go watch the videos and subscribe to that channel as well in which i share tips and tricks and you know writing an interview and everything for essay and mission statement and universities and everything on this channel please subscribe to the channel and you will see more videos helping you along the way again during your award i will attend a mandatory achieving events and yes of course i will actively engage with the achieving network in the uk yes of course i will remain in the uk during my award except for authorized absences and understand condition not to spend more than 30 days outside the uk yes i will respond to service surveys sent by achieving i'm an alumni i get still service and i reply to them it's a good thing to do i agree to abide by the achieving social media policy i agree to abide by achieving's code of conduct after you were aware, I understand that any request to remain in the UK will not be granted, including for the purpose of further study or employment. I will actively engage with achieving alumni. Okay, so before we go on, I have to tell you, if you want to stay in the UK, like most of my friends did, my mentees, they applied to PhDs, they applied to other master's degree, they applied for two years of work and visa in the UK. It is possible I am offering kind of free help for you it's possible i can even do some 20 30 minutes free cons uh, consultation you just call me you book a time for free and we talk about this and i can help you to um, find other scholarships or to um, get two years of work visa i just kind of do it for free to just help you and it's possible and it's le legally okay not illegally Oh, and one thing I should tell you, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one, uh, consultation with me to, you know, talk about how to revise your essay or if you have any concerns or something, just go to my website. The link is in the descriptions below, sirathaydri.com. And here you can just essay writing consultation. Click on this link and you can book a consultation session with me for one hour or more if you want to. I will actively engage with the Chevening alumni community. That's a good thing. I will respond to future essays sent by Chevening, which I do. I agree to return to my home country or territory through the um, through which I am applying for a scholarship for a period of at least two years following the completion of my award, and no later than the expiry date on my student visa i agree to apply for any i agree to not apply for any other visa category in the uk i understand that further opportunities for a study or work in the uk are not an exception to the two uh year uh two year return home policy okay so you you click yes but i'm telling you that there are legal ways uh, to stay in the uk so i save draft once we save the draft, uh, now it's time to go to upload documents and submit. Here you can read the descriptions here, but I want to keep the video as short as possible. Do you consider yourself to have a disability? Yes or no? I choose no. Do you require specific arrangements in order to attend an online or in-person interview? 
no in case if you are disabled or something you can request please state your gender man woman intersex or you can say prefer not to say but i'm man do you consider yourself to be part of any minority or disadvantaged group in your country i say no but if you choose yes then you will have uh like what category do you fall in so i choose just no and uh, do you currently live in in the capital of the city that i am in another urban area in a rural area i think they need to know this in case you are conducting your interview later on where did you hear about chevening and how um, did you hear about chevening i heard from chevening alumni to choose anything you want how long did you consider applying to chevening in the application round before beginning this application that means how long did you prepare for chevening i for the first year of course one year but for the <coughs> second time i prepared one to two years you choose anything you want and what were the major factors that led you to um applying to chevening so why you choose chevening why you love chevening i like it because of reputation and publicity advice of colleagues advice from chevening alumni the time the right time in my career influence of the bbc or other have you applied to chevening in previous years yes or no i choose yes and if you choose no then you don't see this thing i applied for example last year have you uh, considered applying for any other scholarship yes or no you uh, know there's no f i choose yes and then i apply to fulbright scholarship program it's no problem to say the truth okay and here is the part regarding the documents completed education documents so here you can upload any kind of document related to your education you can drag and drop or i click in browse I have a folder and I have all the necessary documents here. This is my bachelor AUF diploma. So it's always good to name your files in the best uh, way so that every file is also known what it is. So I also upload my transcript here. I don't know if there's any other place and if there was then we can remove from here and upload my transcript there. So Sirat AUF transcript. This is it, finish 100%. I don't have to do anything. I just close this manager, file manager. Okay, conditional offers for proposed courses of study up to three. You can only upload three offers if you have got from any of the universities. So I've already got one offer from a university and I upload it here. Uh, this is certificate of acceptance from University of Aberdeen. I just choose it here. If you don't have anything, you just um, skip it you don't have to worry about it and as i upload them you see them immediately there unconditional offers for proposed course of a city up to date that was conditional and this is unconditional so i have for example another and that was conditional and this one is unconditional actually i have unconditional so it's the same procedure i go on i choose my file i upload and i close this i see it here and referees names and contacts here you um you know ref, uh, <laughs> is it the, the details for the referees and um, they can they will receive an email and a link they click on it and they can upload their reference letter although we can also upload the reference letters ourselves but it's good to put it here so here i write the name of for example there are two kind of reference letters and i have videos on my youtube how you can write reference letters or show those videos to the people who are writing you reference letters so that they shall uh, they shall write you a very beautiful one so the name of my um, employer is for example job title it's good to give uh, email address if it's official one uh, compared to those emails that they are like gmail or hotmail if you have it so is it academic is it employer or voluntary or any other so this is employer he this person he's my employer submit and here i write my academic reference and 
is this academic employer this is academic and I click on submit now I click on save to see both of my references here so my references will have will get an email where they can click on it and then they can upload the recommendation letters and those specific letters you can see one employer and one academic but here is another thing reference letters this is something new actually that you can upload it and remember that the date for the deadline of submission of your recommendation is 20th of February 2024 since I have already got my academy uh, my reference letters so I upload them here this is one official which is my employer and this one is I didn't name it correctly this is my um, academic reference letters so I have both of them I just upload them you can select two files at once too. I close this and as uh, when I refresh this uh, or save this, I can see both of those documents there too. Reference letters, you see I have two reference letters. The names are kind of changed there. Here I can upload my passport or any ID that I have. For example, if you say you are resident of another country as well, or you have dual citizenship, you might be required to submit both of them. But I have one, so I just upload my passport. By the way, I should say this, that if you want to enroll to my courses, it's very easy. You go to my website, sirathaydiri.com, scroll down. Here is Scholarship Preparation Bootcamp. Next to this one or under this one, you will also find another course, which, which is Achievening Essay Writing Course. It's a beautiful course that we are going to write five different essays for five different majors. It's going to be around 20 essay questions that we are going to write together. Or you can click on courses on my website and this will take you all to the page where I have all my courses and you can enroll for now for scholarship preparation course or for essay writing course. And later on, you can enroll to my achieving scholarship interview preparation course and more courses for TOEFL and IELTS and other things will be uploaded very soon in here. This one achieving essay writing course, it's coming soon because my software team, they are working on uploading new New videos but it should be ready in a few hours okay and here you provide a feedback for of the platform how this platform was are you are you satisfied did you like everything or you didn't like maybe you are not satisf uh, satisfied with something you can just choose anything you want if you have any additional comments you can have it there and then here is that you agree with the terms of conditions of anything that is coming from Chevening. And for now, I just choose save draft. I don't have to submit anything to Chevening, but I do submit my application, uh, submit to Chevening when everything is done, like before the deadline on uh, in the beginning of November, uh, when I got my offers from the universities and everything, I just um, you know click submit to Chevening. There are key points that I have to tell you. First of all, regarding recommendation letters, how to write winning recommendation letters. There are two links. One link is for employer recommendation letter and one link is for academic reference letter. The videos that I am writing a complete best recommendation letter. The links are also in the descriptions below. You can share them with the people who you are requesting them to send you a recommendation letter only if they don't know how to write it. Don't just send them that this is how you should write. They should know it. If they don't know it, then you can share the link. But some references, they might ask you to please write your own recommendation letter from my point of view. Send it to me. I check it. If I like everything good, otherwise I, will, I might bring some changes and then I stamp it and print it and is and sign it and will send it to you and also to Chevening. Then you can also watch those videos which are going to help you a lot. If you need anything for recommendations, feel free to write it in the comments section and I'm going to be responsive and respond to your comments and your questions and concerns as soon as possible. W what's the best time to submit your application? Please do not leave uh, until the last moment to submit your application. I highly recommend you to submit your application at least five days before the deadline. We go here and we see the closing deadline is on 7th of November at 12 p.m. Uh, in London time or U uh, not UK but England time. So you are supposed to do what? You are supposed to submit your application, you know, the latest on 3rd 
of November or on 2nd of November because every year we have seen this problem that people were there's a lot of load on the website and then you cannot open your application the problem is every year after like 4th of November it's not easy to open the Chevening website if any one of you had tried to open the <laughs> scholarship website on this date most of the people could not access the website. If you have experienced that one, then the same thing or even more problems will appear on the deadline date. So it is okay if uh, the opening had a problem because who cares, I can open my and create my account another day. But on this day, it's not who cares. If you don't submit your application on time, everything is over and you have to wait for another year. So please don't do that mistake and submit your application as soon as possible. Okay, and one more thing, how do you save your draft and come back to this later? For example, if you just log into your account later on after uh, like a few days and you just started to create a, your account and application, you see that here it shows one in progress application. So that is in progress. If you submit or when you submit your application before the deadline after some days or it might stay in here don't worry but make sure that you have submitted it then it should appear in one this one should move from uh, the first category to the second submitted or under review applications mostly it should go directly you, when you submit your application it should directly come here next time you log in and unsuccessful applications probably when you are rejected and once you're accepted you know that one comes here conditionally selected or reserved and reserved uh, reserved awards so how do you go and open it just click on this one and here you see that okay this one you can just open it the reason why you have here a list because you know in the beginning we had choices to create three or four different application for chevening for fellowship and for islamic studies and for other scholarships that are available for different countries and now you can open this and here comes the application you can just go on to every tab and you know update your information and save draft save draft until the final day that you upload all the necessary documents and write the essays and submit to chevening okay everybody i wish you best of luck and success with your application fill in everything and be mindful of your documents to prepare them as early as possible if you need help you can contact me through my website my newsletter and every other platform that i have and if you have any questions or something write them in the comments below i will respond it or i will create a video about it and i will share it here best of luck and success in your achieving journey and I'm waiting for you to join our community of achieving alumni.